my beloved love. So, that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading today. Again, thank you so much for co-creating here with me. I am sending you all so much love. Wishing. My guides were really urging me to speak on something that I am referring to here as the gift of illumination. Now, I received those words, that phrase, gift of illumination, in a download as I was meditating. But as so often happens during these moments of downloading information, sometimes we can download information that others have downloaded as well, and that already has been spoken about. So, I did a search on this term on Google, and I found a little bit of information on this, although I've noticed that there isn't much information out there. So, I really wanted to create this video to talk about what I'm calling here the gift of illumination, although I'm sure there are many other terms that could be used to describe this phenomenon, this ability that certain people have. This is how I'm choosing to describe it in this particular video, and I am setting the intention that this information will reach whoever may be grappling with some of the effects of having this particular spiritual gift or ability because it can lead to some very confusing impacts, particularly on your interactions and the way that other people interact with you. But before I get into the information, I would like to first introduce myself to those of you who might be just now coming to the channel. If you are new, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. So, as I said in the intro of this video, we're going to be talking about the gift of illumination. In order to have the gift of illumination, you must first be someone who has undergone a very intense illumination process yourself. So, I will be getting into specific signs that you have this gift, specifically five signs that you have the gift of illumination. But first, I really wanted to talk about the origin of this particular gift because having the gift of illumination involves a very intense soul process that I could call a sort of energetic purification that is really meant to forcibly bring to the surface any of your own shadow elements for the purpose of healing them and clearing them out. Now the thing about these shadow elements is, many of these shadows are not only deeply unconscious but might actually be extremely subconscious meaning shadows that could be specific forms of mind programming that you have picked up throughout lifetimes, previous lifetimes. These also could be specific energetic blockages that you as a soul chose to take on in this particular incarnation in order to heal, in order to shift out those particular blockages of inner gene. So most of us do not typically consciously remember any, or at least usually not all, of these deeper soul intentions, those energetic blockages we might take on as a soul for this lifetime, etc. Which is why I'm saying that some of these shadows can be very, very subconscious. From Divine Muscular Type yes if you believe 